in the entrepreneurial roller coaster, you mentioned that in the number of millionaires actually has grown by two million during 2013, and then by 2015 or 2020, it's actually going to double. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty incredible. Um, I was intrigued by your statement that almost all of them, almost all of them, are going to be entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And that's a very, very different mindset than what we have right now, which is where we think that a lot of these millionaires are coming from investments that they're doing inside of the market. So why do you think that that is going to change so significantly? A lot of people think that the economy is bad, these are troubled times, crisis, war, and all the rest of it. That is just the perverted view we see through the very small lens of news media. Mm -hmm that there has never been a more prosperous, abundant time in all of human history that's taking place right now. The number of millionaires are proliferating. Wealth is up by 68% all over the world. These are incredibly opportune times. So that's number one. Number two is a millionaire is not much money anymore. <laughs> I mean, really, uh, it used to be a big benchmark, but it, it's not so much anymore. I mean, the stock market, you get a 6 or 8% return, a 12%, and you know, you're, you're the wolf of Wall Street. Um, you attribute your after-tax salary to the stock market at 6, 8, 12%. It's going to take you a really long time mm -hmm. to become a millionaire. Uh, whereas if you become an entrepreneur, your rate of return could be 300%, 5,000%. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at some of the companies that have been started with little to nothing that have become, we can look at some of the billion, multi-billion dollar companies. You don't have to. The companies that become worth several hundred thousand, that become worth a couple of few million dollars because they scale, they provide a value to the marketplace, and the marketplace rewards them in multiples. You can't get that in the stock market. It's just not possible. So I always say bet on yourself before you mm -hmm. bet on playing, gambling in the stock market. We all know, particularly with recent history, how all the money you put away for 10, 20 years can be gone like that. But the one thing you can always have is the skill development the character development, the emotional resilience that you've built inside yourself to go create multiples of value in the marketplace through your entrepreneurship. So bet on yourself before you bet on the stock market.